Okay, uh, I think we're gonna begin. Yeah, let's begin Hogwarts Legacy. This is so hyped. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Like for the longest time, I'm so 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 excited for this. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, so I also managed to get the Dark Art Pack because this is the this is the deluxe edition, so so I already claim online reward and then this one is the Haunted Hawks Meat Shop Quest. This one is only for PlayStation version. Right? Uh, then we got the Onyx Hippogriff. Oh, that one's quite cool. Uh, we got the Felix Felicius Potion. That's pretty cool as well. And then we got this little Beak Mass. That's really cool as well. And we have some House Fan Fanatic School Robe. Wow, very nice. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a 5th year student. Terms begin on 1st September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restricted of underage or sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. Can we still use magic? Yeah, it's still school ground. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you to London from London to the castle from the start of term, feast, and sorting ceremony. M. Weasley. Wow, Professor Weasley. Nice. Currently, you are 16, alright? Okay, so this is the part where we're going to take some time because I'm <laughs> going to do a lot of this. Alright, so um, we're going to be a dude, okay? We're not going to be a chick in this game. Maybe we'll be a chick in the second game, uh, second run, but who should we pick? Let's see. Eyes. Do we want it face shape? Oh, I want some chiseled jaw, yo. Give me some chiseled jaw. It has to be a Chad in Hogwarts, okay? This guy's gonna be Chad. But his name is Bob, so... You know. Which face looks like a Bob? You know? Man, where's the chiseled jaw? Okay, this guy's jaw is too weak. We need... Awesome jawlines, okay? Bob does not deserve anything less than an awesome... Ooh, this one's nice. I think just now this one was the best. Yeah, this one has like... You know, it has that Giga Chat look, you know? Alright, alright, alright. This one's good, this one's good. Skin color. Uh, Do we want him to be as pale as... You know, barely... Okay, this is not that pale, but... It's... Okay, still pale though. Uh, Let's go a bit... Ooh, you know what? This looks like... Somehow this reminds me of a football player, Bukayo Saka. You know? I mean, the hair a bit as well. Okay, we're just gonna go a little bit more dark tone, alright? This dude is gonna be a bit dark tone, alright? So, okay, let's, let's see. So, Bob the Wizard, that's his name, okay? Has to come from a certain country, alright? So, Bob... Where do you think Bob comes from? Obviously, we're gonna go with glasses, but do we go with the Harry Potter glasses? Of course, Harry Potter glasses, right? Ooh, let's do the hair! Oh, I like the hair part, okay. I feel like this episode is just gonna be <laughs> customizing this. Uh, nice, okay. This goes well with chiseled jaw, alright. We like chiseled jaw haircut. Uh, this is the one that you gave him. Alright, right. it's too messy, alright. We're, we're gonna go with... Actually, you know what? I think Messi goes well with Bob. Bob is not the kind that... I ain't gonna lie. I wish I had that hair, though. That's a nice hair, man. Are we gonna make him like a... Yeah, he has to be a Giga Chat, you know? So... Oh, this guy? This one is nice as well. One eternity later. <laughs> Give me a break, okay? This guy has to be... He has to look awesome, alright? Cornrows! Wow, alright. Let's see here. Actually, this hair is not bad. I mean, like, this is like a... This is a very different style. I never get... Whoa, okay. Okay. Let's see here. What's this? Long hair. Oh my god, this is like... Whoa. Okay. I think we're reaching to the girl part already. 
Oh my god, so this is like a guy can have girl hairstyle kind of thing, right? Whoa, this guy's hair. Okay, short hair. Short hair is actually not bad, so curly hair. Somehow? I mean, okay, this is obviously not the kind of hairstyle I would go for because I'm Asian and I don't have this kind of hairstyle, but this goes really well with his skin type, right? This is like what I see on on, on uh, everywhere, online, everything. This is like his hairstyle. This is not bad. I like this one. I like this one. Okay, we're, 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 we're... this is going well. Okay, complexion wise, is he gonna be super super fair? Wait, what's going on with this complexion thing? Oh, eh, I think the shaded one looks good. Yeah, this one. Um, wow. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something tells me that this is not what I want my my character to go around with. I mean, yeah, I guess this works too. This is a very bizarre color, though. Matches his cheeks, right? Whoa, this is like super, super clear skin thing, man. This is like super clear skin. I wish I had this skin, man. Okay, let's see. If I give you a, like, oh, ooh, we have a mole here. You know, I actually have a mole right here, so if I want to mirror this guy, uh, probably we'll put a mole. Okay, that's, is that a freckle mark on the side? Oh, wait, that's a mole mark right there. Okay, alright, so let's see. Scott, whoa. Bob, Bob, chill, man, Bob. Where, where did you go, man? Why, why do you have a scar like- Damn, man! Did you fight Simba or something? Dude, what happened? What the heck happened to you? Bro! Daddy chill. That's some ex- Whoa, this guy really got burned. He got really burned. Okay, I think I don't mind like a... Uh, like a... Uh, a nose cut can see because of the glasses though. This one is like... So it's not bad. This one is like a Harry Potter scar but... Goes through the eye like he got cut or something like that. You know? It's better than this one. This one is like really extreme. Okay, so eye color. All right, so let's see eye color. I wish I can zoom in a bit more though. Okay, so we're going to give him blue eyes, obviously, because this guy is like super attractive. So he has to have blue eyes, right? Where's the super blue eyes? Ooh, purple eyes, guys. Purple eyes. All right, this is nice. This is nice. All right. <clears throat> Eyebrow color. Well, given that he is black hair, I don't think I should give him any other color effect except for black, so that's fine. Alright, what kind of eyebrow are we going to go? We're going to go with the chunky ones, right? This eyebrow is not bad because it kind of suits his scar a little bit, right? I think I like this one because it suits his scar a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah this one is nice. Okay, this one is nice. I, oh. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Uh, that's too high pitch already. Have you? That was quite some. Daddy, chill. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can hear this. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, this is like super deep voice, man. I feel like this one works. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy. Daddy, this. chill. Not the deep voice. That was quite something. Daddy, chill. <laughs> A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, okay, this is definitely like the the the. <laughs> daddy chill. Okay, why this is a daddy vibe? <laughs> okay, uh, difficulty hard, obviously, right? We're gonna go hard. First name. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So this is what we've been waiting for. Okay, this is Mr. Bob. This is Bob the Wizard. Okay. So which a wizard? Wizard, obviously. Okay. So guys, what do you guys think? Does he look like a Giga Chat that is ready to like, you know, woo off the chicks and wizards and, and well, you know, he can be bi if he wants to be. But, you know, wizards and witches, you know, in Hogwarts, you know. Handsome Mania, I think so, yeah. Alright, okay, cool. Bob the Wizard is born. That's a go. Let's go, Bob. Mr. Streamer, can you be bi? Unfortunately, no. 
You look like someone I knew in high school. <laughs> it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. His voice was so deep, man. <laughs> He's supposed to be how old? 14 or 15? I can't remember. 5th year, right? 5th year is 16. I think. In about two hours, there will be a stream so on Twitch, so remember to claim that outfit, okay? Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. Maybe a gun can open it. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. It's the eyes, okay? The blue eyes can see it. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Holy! <laughs> Jesus Christ!
Oh, he saw death. He saw death. Thrusters are out. Hyper beam. Uh oh. Wow, 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 wow. That was awesome. Are you alright? You're hurt. Ooh, he's a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. A stim pack. <laughs> what happened? Stim pack. Oh, George, I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor. Try not to put any sound, I want to listen. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Okay, I'm gonna... So what's gonna happen is that I'm actually recording this footage. I mean, like, this... Um this gameplay right so i'm gonna upload it later on my channel so you guys can actually watch the entire vod if you want um, for some reason okay this is not bad i mean i'm trying to figure out if the controls are nice but so far it looks okay oh and by the way when they're talking and stuff i usually won't talk over it because i want to listen to them how far did that port key take us farther from london than the carriage traveled we're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, this graphics looks so good. Like, Mind it looks test. so good. So, if I click this... Professor Fig, have I traveled via port key? Oh, it will tell you exactly what's going on, man. That is... It's so cool. If I walk slowly, it's slowly. If I push forward, it will run. All right. I Where can you jump. Your wife got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching Wait. for evidence of a long. One second. I want to know if I can zoom out a little bit more from my camera. Uh, let's see. Camera acceleration. No, not this. I, I feel like I'm too close to my character, you know. I want to feel a little bit more far back so that I can see a bigger view of everything. Uh, damn, I can't see. There's no... It seems like there's no such thing. Okay, never mind. We'll continue. Form of ancient magic. Oh. Oh, roll. Okay. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. 
uh, I believe there's a lot of talking. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a lot of talking. I don't mind. I'm just going to listen so, to all of it. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Okay, let's do some magic, shall we? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Incendio, right? Basic cast. Tap R2. Oh, uh, he's not using Incendio. He's just doing some... Okay, that's cool. Excellent. All right. Uh, to select active car target, some player prefers select target. Move away with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting settings. Okay. Oh. I just realized something, okay? When you want to fire something off your R2, the adaptive trigger uh, gets really like high resistance, right? So I realized if you do this for long term, right, it feels like a workout for your finger. Like, that's just the first impression I'm getting right now, you know? Yeah, you ask me to tap this three times, I'm gonna feel a lot of resistance to it. So it's like, cool, cool. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you. Finger sir. work up. <laughs> I'm like basically breaking all the parts here. Yeah. Ah, up there. Okay. Work up for other things, sure. <laughs> okay, he's going that way, right? Yep, not going there, bro. I got things to see. Ooh, chest. Nice. 39 coins. Is there anything else here? No. Okay. I feel like my character is still too close to my camera, though. Like, I wish I'm a bit further We're away. Close now. It's just ahead. God damn, that is pretty cool if you ask me. But why is this not repaired? Bro, your spell didn't work. You see this column here? It's not repaired. Go back to school, you old man. You see this part here? It's not repaired. Bro. Almost there. Bruh. Okay, I'm like just playing around. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Alright. The minimap shows your surrounding with this thing in the middle, this thing's your objective, press and hold this to quest objective details. Alright. Ah, okay, cool. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Is this like puzzles we have to solve or something?
Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Who is the dude, though? Wait, how do I climb up? There we go. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Whoa. Whoa, what's this? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, you can't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. How do you interact with it? Oh, okay. What in Merlin's name? Wake the gob? What the Godric's heck? heart. Where are we? Whoa. I don't believe it. Whoa. Can I explore first before I talk to the dude? Probably not. Am I? All right, Mr. Goblin. <clears throat> He's sleeping on a job. Bob the wizard, it's you. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Where Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. What? <gasps> it's so small. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Will White's port key? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, this is got the, the bank. This oh, it's way, so small, though. Stay close. The graphics look so After good, guys. You. When can I change outfit though? Oh, do I get to control this? How many volts are there? Oh my Hundreds. god. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Wow. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Jesus, Vault man. number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. That is actually pretty awesome though, just to see how Gringotts is inside. Freaking huge, man. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. 
on you why why you have to be so grumpy man it's the popo <laughs> Wondering about that goblin back there. The he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Ooh, that means that guy controls the dragon. Probably. Here we are. All right, let's go. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Hmm, interesting. You think a rocket launcher could break it down? <laughs> Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. What? Wait. <laughs> Bro just locked us in. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Wait, so steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted. Accelerate your, arm, your wand's motion along the symbol. Alright, let's try. So... Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Let's go again. God damn. A door. I feel like I'm going to do well, this a lot. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Ooh, Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. I'm a bit afraid that I would die a lot in no this game. There will be no if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I really don't think that I would survive a lot in this game. What if the logo is a Skyrim logo? Rebellion. That's kind of cool though. I see something up ahead. Ooh. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Can we use incendio at some point, like cast fire? Oh, is this water? Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, Whoa. sir. I'm fine. Whoa. You just... seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? 
I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Interesting. All right, I gotta use the Revelio. Right? Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. But why is it? The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh. Yes, sir. All right. This is kind of a cool concept though. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You acquired one light ca uh, one lighting charm, Lumos. Okay, so how do you use Lumos? Hold R2 and tap this thing to extinguish. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I feel like I had to fight him though. Okay. Okay. This doesn't look good, guys. Look out! Otego! Otego. Holy shit, that professor is awesome though. Exposo. I'm like just tapping only at this point. The, the guy is doing all kinds of awesome. Oh, you can... Shit, how do you... Oh, nice, nice. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is like a finger workout, man. Not gonna lie. Oh shit! Did I, did I just drink all three? I just drink all three. Oh no! I use all three stim. I tapped the stim three times. <laughs> Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? You stupefy an old man, sure. Stupefy. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I, I freaking love the graphics, guy. Like, seriously, just look at the graphics. Just holy crap, this graphics is just amazing, man. Out of this world. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That oh. glow again. Oh crap, not this again. Lumos. Oh wait, no. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Uh. Oh, I have to stand here. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of. I ran out of steam packs, guys. Pro gamers, guys. Uh, hold triangle during Protego to stun enemy with stupefy counter attack. Stun enemy, take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Oh, gold numbers, okay. Save the game. Wait, how do you save the game? I didn't know you can save. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I can't see. I, I can't see.
Damn, this is like parrying, man. It's really like parrying only. Jesus Christ, man. Lumos. I like this game. I freaking love this game. It's it's awesome. I like I like it. Press L3 to sprint. Oh, this is not sprinting already? Oh my god, this is sprinting right now. Can I find chests around here? I feel like there is a lot of chests around here, right? Unless it's going like infinitely... Oh, shit. Oh, it brought, it brought me somewhere else. Okay. Remember you're training young ones. Uh, th this is not a paddle one, okay? <laughs> Damn the graphics. I have to use ooh Jesus. I have to use my middle finger to press the trigger quickly because apparently my index finger is just not very strong when it comes to the resistance of the trigger. I might have to check and see if I can reduce the tr the resistance though. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? I have to go in the middle? Yep. Train your fingers, sure. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Oh, pensive. For viewing memories. Pensive or pensive? I wonder. You have someone to train with, right? <clears throat> Yeah, dip your head inside. <laughs> Imagine how it looks like from the outside though. <laughs> Is that Dumbledore? No, he's not alive yet, obviously. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were Oh, Ranrock. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. 
I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. <laughs> I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Goddamn, man. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Can you just use Hadoken? I think this is Dobby's grandfather. Whoa! Whoa! What is that? What is that? Sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We didn't have a bank account at the bank. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> Ooh. Platform nine and three quarters. Guys, welcome to Hogwarts. a pretty cool introduction you know a bit oh they walk all the way okay oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony i'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? We're going to go into Hufflepuff, guys. Oh, dude, black. I like the actor who voiced the uh, headmaster. He's a really cool guy. Phineas, Nigellus. Phineas. Black. 
Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... He's white, oh, his name. <laughs> complications. It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. All right. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. All right, time for Giga Chat. Feast your eyes, ladies, to the Giga Chat. Bob the Wizard. Yes, look at him. He's a model. Look at that chiseled Professor jawline. We've one more to be sorted. Oh, that's Professor Weasley. That's cool. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Mmm, difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start class. I can't wait to explore. Honestly, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Ah. It's kind of cool that you can pick if you want to accept it or not. Uh, but because I linked my account, so that's why it knows that I'm a Hufflepuff. But how did it go for you guys that played it? Like, if you didn't link your account, did it like randomly pick a house for you? Or how, how did it work on your side? Known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Alright. Better be Hufflepuff! I got Hufflepuff first try, wow! You're meant to be! Trophy earned! <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh. Oh. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Honestly, for the headmaster to dress like that, that's pretty good, you know. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Weasley. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Oh, it's right. It's common for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel 
Two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. <laughs> what? Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I like the Slytherin common room one. It's a freaking snake that reviews the door. That one's really awesome, you know? I'm the bottom of the barrel. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Okay, Looks well, like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. It, oh my god, I want to just take a look at this place. Okay, so first of all, this place looks amazing. It's very like warm kind of feeling in here, right? You know? Alright, we have never seen Hufflepuff uh, common room before. I mean, have we seen Ravenclaw's one before? I can't remember. But not in the movie, right? Hey, stealing apples, man. So when do we get stone? <laughs> Oh, I can aim. Alright, that's kind of cool. Can I use Lumos here? It doesn't make Lumos. sense though. Oh yeah, I can. Protego. Ooh, okay. I can I can cast spells in here. Rebellion. Oh, that's kind of cool. More apples, sure. Drink tea as well, alright. I like that. Alright, let's go outside, shall we? Who's oh, there are students here. Wow. I'm like so close to this dude. I'm like <laughs> He doesn't notice I'm right here. Like I'm I'm integrated in your body, man. Let me see that chest over there. Look up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kinda nice. Very nice chandelier. Ooh, 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 what's over there? I think I can light a fire, but not yet. I have to wait until I can do incendio spells, right? Ooh, there is a cactus here, alright. Are we going to drink more stuff here? Yes, eat more stuff, obviously. I think this is where I keep all my storage. House chest! Alright, cool. Yeah, the cactus moving is just dancing and stuff. Kind of nice. Uh, there's another room, right? That one was the main room. What about this one here? Oh, there's music stuff here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, wait. How do I look at the map? How do I look at the map? Okay, no, that's not what I want. How do you enlarge the map? That's what I want. I just entered someone's... Oh, wow, there are... Okay, okay, hello. Hello there. Level 3 lock, okay.
Save the game. Wait. Do I need to manually save? I thought everything is already like... Uh, I mean, I could save now, but... This is a manual save. I thought that's usually an auto save and stuff, right? Let's check out this place. Anything here? Nope. <laughs> it's like so many rooms though. If you look at the map, right? If you look at the bottom left, oh my god, you can't you can't see the bottom left, my bad. Alright, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. You can see the bottom left, right? So many rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rooms. Jesus man. Alright, I will look at all of them <laughs> eventually, but I want to continue the story a little bit just so I can look around Hogwarts. And this place is huge. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, I gotta talk to some people. Alright. Lenora Everley. Hedwig. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm not worried. I'm very confident. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You have such a lot to do. You think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. That's interesting. I wonder if you were inside another house, right? Will these characters be the same characters or do you meet a brand new set of characters with different lines and everything, you know? What year are we in? I can't tell due to the lack of guns. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course! Adieu! Let's eat more apples because that's what we do. Cactus are like dancing and stuff. Headmaster hates everyone who isn't a pure blood slipper. What? Whoever decided to make Professor Black headmaster of Hogwarts must have been the victim of a flock of whoopers. Out of their mind. Does Ooh. Professor Black have children of his own? Poor things if he does. Black children. I thought about transferring to both back mm. to get away from oh, Professor dear. Black and his iron fist. But then I remembered that I don't speak French. Oh, uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me. I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? You know what's interesting? The first two friends this guy is making are girls. And that's because he's a Giga Chat. I'm just saying, you know, the chiseled jawline works, guys. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. 
That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. It's my favorite place in the entire city. Arthur's got you. If it's I all right. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit next to, I think I could be terribly homesick. If you ask any of us, you don't need to be frightened, little cat. Do you suppose Black's children are as condescending and ill-tempered as he is? Arthur's got you. It's all right. Oh, there's a cat up there. Be frightened, little cat. What the heck is in there? Wow, there's a secret passage here. I didn't know that. Oh, hey, cakes. It's all right. <laughs> this guy is eating everything, man. Ooh, cupcake. Let me eat that, too. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Arthur's got you. It's all right. There's a badger here. And that's kind of cool. You don't need to be frightened, uh, little cat. I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> stuck its tongue up its nose? What the heck? <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Oh, okay. Let's go then. That's really cool. That's really cool. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave Exams. here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, but... Here you are. That's pretty cool. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test.
I wish there's a way, way to make the map bigger though. Like, I'm trying to tap like stuff. Is any of these maps though? These are all options. They are not maps. So I can't figure out how do you enlarge the maps. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. No, 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 there's something right here. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. No, 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 there was something here. I saw a silhouette here. You guys saw us yeah, yeah, you guys saw that, right? There's a freaking silhouette there. Lumos. Mm, that didn't work. That's a ghost. Is that a ghost or something? Oh, never mind. The Hufflepuff common room is definitely very, very... You okay, Bob? Oh, apple. Let's eat some more. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. There's a Revelio here. Revelio. Oh. House Elf Recipe Book. Rum rumors it contains some Helga Hufflepuff original creations. Okay. You just unlock a few guide challenge. Progress towards the completing challenge appears here. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. This is this is better now. Collect few guide pages in Hogwarts. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Something's over there. They're all blue though. Why are they all blue? Roll. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <gasps> yes! Like I said, we can finally open the map. Yeah, wow. Jesus, man. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map where the students and professor lives includes the house common room and the great hall. Oh my god. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flame available in that region. Green flu flame. It sounds funny. Flu flame. Represent that you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray means that you undiscovered flames. Alright. Right side of the map is where you find academic point of interest including astronomy tower, library and greenhouses. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central uh, hall flu flame for you. Use this one to rotate the map and travel fast to the central hall flu flu flu, <laughs> flu flame. <laughs> Jesus man. Okay, so that's our fast travel. That's good to know. All right, we and finally we have fast are. travel. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Ooh. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. This place is huge. Oh well, my god. happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross station, so to speak. Jesus, man, this place is huge. That should be all for now. 
You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. Ooh, and I'd like class. to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You guys think I should do uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts or Charms first? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Butterbeer. Charm females, defense against the dark arts, defense of the betas. <laughs> okay, let's Thank do the Dada. Wednesday. Let's a do Dada. to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil? Uh. Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I wonder if I can change outfit right now. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. 
Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Sure. This represent main quests. Completing main quest and further story, unlock new feature and grant EXP. Alright. Some quests are locked by spells or level requirements. In the case, you will need to require the level up or whatever stuff. Okay, new spells can be earned by completing professor assignments, which is that symbol. Okay, as or as quest reward. Okay, track this thing to continue. All right, so this is Dada. All right, we're going to do Dada. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Oh, yeah. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Must fight against the betas. <laughs> All right. What's that? What the heck? <laughs> Look, I'm littering. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Okay, allow you to see the. Oh, wow. All right. So it seems that I can select hotkeys for like uh, spells and shit and stuff. That's pretty cool. Vertigo. Stupefy. Oh, wow. That's really cool. All right. All right. All right I like that. Yeah, let's do some dada. Okay. Oh my god. The castle is beautiful. Hello guys. How are you? Whoa, whoa, what's happened to this guy? What happened to you, man? Bro, what happened to you? I think he ate something spicy, you know? The cat. Can I interact? Oh, you can t play with the cat. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, there's a chest here. Revelio. No. Wait, hold on. What the hell is that? Something is... There's a chest on the map. But I can't figure out what the... Is the chest on the roof or something? Or... Lumos. Nope, light doesn't do shit. Revelio. Revelio doesn't do shit as well. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a full flame. Flu, flu, flu flame, alright. Flu flame, guys. Alright. Pay attention. Oh, yeah. Nice. Fountain of this Transfiguration Courtyard has the likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a reflexing, re, reflexing, relaxing place for students to gather. I can't speak today. Hey. Yeah, we finish a quest. That's cool. So when we finish a quest, let's see what happened. You're not chat enough. Side quests are available. Uh, sh sure. Whoa, man, this is so awesome. That is so awesome. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got some gear. That's really cool. Inventory. I wonder how I can... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I can go to gear. Oh, this is awesome. Can I change gear yet? Not yet. I can't change gear yet. Can you English? I cannot English today. I think wearing gloves is kind of cool. You know? Face wear. Nah. My chat doesn't need that. Hair. Oh! Nah, no, no, no. He gotta show off his hair, you know? Oh, I like neckwear. Give me my scarf. Do I look good with scarf? I think so. Looks kind of weird with a... Okay, you know what? We'll wear it later with some other gear, okay? Doesn't look that good with the... Oh, wait, wait. What's this outfit? <laughs> Bro! What just happened? <laughs> what are you wearing? Why are you... Oh! I just took off his clothes! <laughs> I just took off his clothes, man. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna walk around Hogwarts like this? <laughs> oh my god! Hello, guys. I am the new fifth year in Hogwarts and I am walking around in my onesie with apparently button up for my butt. Oh my lord. Hello. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Can I go inside here? Oh, what's inside here? Wait, hold on. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Let me see what's inside here. I, oh my god, I'm just walking Rebellion. around in, in onesies and shit, you know. This is this is next level well, stuff. You do look comfortable. <laughs> she commented on me being naked. <laughs> oh good stuff, good stuff. Oh I I oh my god, I haven't learned Alohomora, but I already learned Protego. That makes no sense at all. This is funny. This is really funny. Okay, you know what? Uh, uh let, let's. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Hold on, hold on. I'm going back. There's something chopping this. You see, this thing's moving. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. So this is a PG stream. Yes, I, 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 I know that. I, I. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> give him his clothes back. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay. Okay, uh, we shall... I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this place because there is a chest here. As you can see from the map, there's a freaking chest here. And I cannot Rebellion. figure out what to do with it. Oh, damn it. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I oh, shall move on from here. There's a chest here. We do hope it's you. This map, this place is huge. What? Oh my god, man. I feel like I'm going to miss a couple of places with the Revelio. Revelio. 
you know. Hello, good sir. Go to your class, sir. <laughs> I will, I will, okay. Give me a moment because I'm really, really enjoying exploring the castle right now. This is pretty awesome. What's this? This looks like a time turner, you know, from the watch thing. Don't be a delinquent in, like, in Violet. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Okay. Hey. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. All right, let's begin Dada. All right. Stupefy. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, man. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Damn. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I didn't know it was called Levioso. I thought I thought all oh, wow it's supposed to be Leviosa, right? Unless Levioso is a whole different thing, right? Anyway, It's not Levioso, it's Leviosa. <laughs> now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, cool. All right. Okay, let's see here. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. Perform basic cast. All right. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. All right. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Ooh. Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. All right. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Stupid Complicates things. Stupid Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do enjoy life too. Stupefy. Turn it all my students with a sedate. Try to. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's really, really cool. 
Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to Hackett. practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Yay! Good All job, everyone. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was never used my wand in combat. Uh, do I do I tell him? Do I not tell him? I gotta Okay, because I'm a Giga chat, I have to be like super super uh, obnoxious, right? So yeah. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Yeah, man. Fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know. Sigma, you might Sigma be a too. Perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Yeah. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. <laughs> Till next time. It appears that... It appears that... Wait, hold on. There's a chest here. Rebellion. Okay, wait. Am I going crazy here? But there's a freaking chest in the map, right? But... There's a chest in the map. I swear, like, how do you... Is it upstairs or downstairs or what the heck is going on? Okay, let's see if I can access the flu powder oh, nice thing. Nice to see you, my young friend. How far is it? Oh, it's it's not that far, is it? Am I? Let me try to navigate to this thing. Whoa, what's this? This witch looks like she's so happy to be burned, though. <laughs> Wonder how sharp injured his leg. 
I'd wager it was something to do with his time as an aura. Which... <laughs> okay, he's upstairs. It's on the floor up. Stairs? Ooh. Another full flame. Damn, man, this place is huge. Revelio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed out a couple of places already. We have the Revelio. Ah, there's a chest here. In the bathroom. How oh, nice. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Passage. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Alright. I went to the girls' bathroom, yep. <laughs> because I'm a Giga Chad, you know. <laughs> here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Accio. I like this. I really like this. It's pretty cool. Akio. Nice. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Uh, get over here! <laughs> Mortal Kombat! Ooh, field trip! How nice! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? eh? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? We playing some mini games? 
All right, so let's Very see. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Accio, I could keep talking about it. Excellent, good. Oh. Not to worry. Wait, how do you cancel though? Wait, let me try again. That's it. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> okay, let me try again. No, I don't think it's let go of the button. I have to like. Splendid. Ah. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Bob. Let's go, Bob. You got this. Oh my gosh, she cheating, yo. Bob, turn. Ah! Very good. Oh my god, how is she so good? If you win, though, let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Again? <laughs> oh, wow. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. That is how it's done. Akio. Jesus, too hard, too hard, too hard, too hard. Oh my god, it's like so close! Knock their ball out though. Do I get points for this? <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. 
It gets easier, I promise. I wonder if I should say I'm holding my own. Yeah, I'm supposed to be like the the chat guy, right? Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. Yeah, confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. What? So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. From Africa. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I want to go I there. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Wagadu. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh no, do I do I say surely the magic is weak? Oh no. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I don't know how to be a bad guy in this game, you know? Like how to be a douche, you know? Oh man. I wanna say that's incredible, but at the same time I feel like the chat would have said the surely the magic is weaker though. No? <laughs> okay, we, we we will say the magic is weaker, okay? Don't be a bad guy, just confident. Okay, alright, I like that. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. One wandless magic is actually pretty cool. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word if you would. If you're so inclined. Well. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. You know I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit... Distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right, cool. We have completed charms. Sweet. Okay, uh, from the looks of it, we have played for two hours, alright, and I am going to end the stream for this first part, alright, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? Thanks guys for joining, and this has been really fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay?